All right, so something to mention about the actual cables, such as the power LED and the power switch, hard drive LED reset switch. These are usually labeled on the motherboard itself, so it, and it is also in the manual that you can see which one is positive, which one is negative as well. So, again, if it's something that you are concerned with, uh, always just go to the manual, and it should tell you exactly uh, where these should be hooked up at. So, let's just go ahead and get started with that. And these can take a little time to get in again if this is your first time doing this. So if you can't get it the first try, just keep trying until you do get it. And there you have it. That's just my speaker here. And later on, I'm just going to, you know, uh, rearrange the wires, make them a little bit more neater but right now I'm just worried about getting everything inside and uh, situated so next we can go ahead and probably install the DVD-ROM drive let's just go ahead and get this DVD-ROM drive unboxed that out let's give a little general overview about this dvd rom drive again it is a sa sata um, dvd rom drive and as you can see the ports are similar to that of the hard drive so again this is the power uh port and that is the data port and I actually have these labeled so should be self-explanatory just go ahead and get this um placed into the computer case and go ahead and get this bad boy hooked up. In order to hook up the hard drive, I mean the DVD-ROM drive, I actually have to take these legs off or take the legs from the bezel off to pop this front plate off. You just push these inward. And should pop off pretty easy. Just like so. And just lay it down to the side like that. Now I'm just going to take my DVD ROM drive or bay and just slide this directly in like so. And next, what I want to do, I don't want to put the plate back on just yet. I just want to get my screws aligned up, as you can see right here. And before I do that, I actually want to put this back on and just see exactly which hole I need to be aligned up with. Alright, so that seems to be good. Just last hole right here. So again, if I just take some screws that my computer case came with. The DVD-ROM drive didn't come with any screws, but this computer case included so many screws, I'm going to be all right without it. And there you have it. That should be enough. It may have screws on the other side for you to screw in, but as long as it's sturdy, it's not going anywhere. So now I can just go ahead and hook up the uh, serial ATA data cable and go ahead and hook that up into the motherboard. Let's just go ahead and get that unboxed here or unpackaged. And again, make sure you pick up a small one. As you can see, I don't need that much room for my DVD-ROM 
bay into the motherboard. Fairly tight fit, but that'd be all right. All right, so the next thing that we can install is the PSU, and it's gonna be fairly hard to record this because it's kind of hard to show you exactly which ports I'm plugging pieces in without taking the camera off the tripod itself but in a way I'm trying to do the best that I can but something to note here I did make the mistake the first time putting the cords inside this slot here where the PSU goes but something that you have to remember is the PSU doesn't slide in from this direction it actually goes in and screws in just like so so while you're trying to install the different cords that you need to install them going over the chassis like this so when you actually install this in here they already be in place but anyway just to point out a few things that I'm pretty sure some people will have questions about the uh, DVD ROM drive since it is a, a serial ATA uh, drive uh, it's going to get the SATA power supply cord and it goes for the hard drive as well and this power supply you do want to make sure it comes with the amount of uh, serial ATA uh, cores that you need so again I'm just going to go ahead and hook this up to my heart my DVD-ROM drive and again if it doesn't go in one way just switch it around until it fits just like you need it to something else that it really doesn't matter uh, which one you use for the hard drive and the DVD-ROM drive but you want to just use the one that fits uh, the best for you for your particular uh, computer case. So I'm gonna try to turn this around here so you can see the hard drive. And let's just go down here a little bit. Again, I definitely will, if you wanna do the same type of uh, video like I'm doing just for my own personal reference, I uh, definitely recommend getting a camera, man, because it is kinda hard to do this being my first time and recording it at the same time so anyway okay my hard drive is now hooked up data cable and my power supply so I'm gonna try to turn this back around again All right. and next this cable here is going to plug into my CPU on the motherboard my CPU uh, power supply on the motherboard and again these are easy to point out or figure out so it's probably again gonna be hard to actually see where I'm plugging this in that plugging it in right there so snaps in just like that